Okay, I'm back, y'all. I know it was rude, but business calls. Y'all pick up the phone too. <laughs> Um, root chakra spirit is assisting us in um, trying to build up our courage, build up our our inner systems to help us kind of escape, honestly, to be free, to feel free. Address the karmics. Address the karmics and address the karmics. Y'all be want me to just go in. I guess I sometimes I feel like my spirit team had me in a more masculine energy sometime in my readings just because I don't get serious. So when people do see me in that energy like that, they like, okay, yeah, she's serious. <laughs> Cause people don't take me seriously. Cause I, you know, I'm, I'm, I laugh or people think that I'm laughing. Like if I'm smiling or just, it's like, I, I like to keep a high vibration even in the midst of the dark, even if it's a bad situation. I'm trying to, you know, take in what I'm hearing and shift it so that the energy don't stick to me because I, I harbor a lot. I'm a, in, like an empath like that literally feels everything, you know. And there's a difference between just compassionate and an empath. We literally absorb it and it, it's, it can attach to us. So, um... Addressing the karmics. And addressing the karmics can get quite serious. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna allow my vessel to be light. I'm going to allow my words to flow. or aggression because this isn't my reading this isn't my reading I'm no longer dealing with karmic energy I'm no longer dealing with karmic energy outside of me and I'm no longer dealing with my own karmic energy because shadow work is saving my life So what came now is the Eight of Swords or the Nine. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Judgment. The Empress card. We have the High Priestess card. We have the Devil card. And we have the Eight of Wands.
right here. I'm here to slow down your bullshit. Because even, even if, and this is to the karmic energy. This is, this is, this is to anybody that's not doing their shadow work. This isn't, this, and this doesn't have to um, be in regards to a relationship or anything. This is just outside energy. And if you are one that is not doing your, your shadow work, if you are the one that is like pointing the finger, um, talking shit, uh, being defensive all the time, not um, taking accountability, if you um, uh, heavy on your vices and then the one that be, you know, that turn on people and then start arguments or start petty altercations or um, just toxic, spiritually toxic, if you're spiritually toxic, hell yeah, hell yeah, if you spiritually toxic and you, um, and you tapping into people's energy fields just just for the humbug and just trying to fuck with people's mental space are you um just just on that bullshit just somebody a karmic energy is somebody that's on that bullshit period so you can be in a relationship dealing with the karmic you can be you can have a karmic friend you can have a karmic family member you can be the karmic family member you can be the the karmic lover you can be the karmic friend whatever slow down your bullshit this is this is this can be the part of fast movement things rushing in coming in fast things coming to a head coming to a closure Yes, this will come to a closure because you, dear karmic, are going to slow down your bullshit. Because the high priestess energy see you. Spirit sees you. You're going to slow down your bullshit. Literally, you are putting people in this stagnant state of depression, state of confusion for no reason. Like this is a this is an empress energy. This is empress energy right here. And you're causing this type of judgment on a, on on an empress energy, on a goddess like energy, and this is not gender specific. You're causing chaos and causing this type of judgment when judgment is gonna call gonna be called on you because you will slow down your bullshit. Your bullshit will come to an end rapidly. Rapidly. Learn to control and to make demands for yourself. Literally, learn. <laughs> learn to control and make demands for yourself. You're creating this confusion and this sense of, of being stuck and this sense of abuse for everyone else when you are the one. That's, that's doing this. You are the one that's causing this and it's gonna and it's coming back on you. Yeah. Literally. 
learn to read and to control and to and 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 give yourself what it what you need. Literally, with this uh, this um, page of wands coming out of, out of reverse, like this is real childish like energy. This is someone that's not receiving the messages. Not giving messages. This is someone that's not re not receiving the messages. Literally, you're not receiving anything. And they're also saying, "Don't don't play the victim. Don't play the victim. You're in this um, energy, childish energy. You're in this energy of not um, receiving messages. You're in the energy of not doing the work. Literally, not doing the work." So don't play the victim. Don't play the victim. Because you know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what you've done. Literally, you know what you've done. You know what, what, what type of chaos you've caused in the home. You know what you've done. played on that. There was no roots, no seeds planted. Seeds were planted now, but it didn't. It didn't fully root. No roots grew. to me but I'm just like here like dried out emotions dried out emotion like literally emotional like emotionless emotionless to the point where you can't even verbalize like in a correct way you can't even verbalize how it is that you feel or verbalize your emotions because you're you, you, you want to hold on to the karmic approach. When all you have to do is literally open up. Open up. Open up. Start off as, as like a kid do or as you, like you would talk to your, your, your child and just, and, and not when you, 
telling your child, when you're disciplining your child, I mean just having an open, you know, lovable conversation with the child. Open up in that aspect. Because we have, he came out in the reverse. And that, like, literally, that's how a lot of karmics want to come. They want to come full force, so aggressive, just lethal in their words with this, this sword's energy and just demeaning and, and you don't have to be and it's like literally with the queen of wands in the reverse with the the uh knight of cups it's like dry emotion dry emotion even when you do want to soften up even when you do want to soften up you're holding on so much to the karmic energy lethal energy and just on edge like waiting to snap Literally, you're just waiting to snap and your emotions even come out dry because you're not used to being verbal. You're not used to verbalizing. Take the, take the more emotional, logical approach. Versus just a logical approach with no emotion and no intuition. Like you're not even, a lot of karmics not even using that intuition. It's all physical based. They're not even using nothing. It's all just, just physical. It's all just, just in high demand. Earth 3D based, material based, you know what I mean? Lust based. That's all it is. You're not even using emotion or, or insight, intuition. There's no, no passion, no creative expression, just all karmic logic. Like there's no balance in that at all. There's no, no balance in that at all. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna get sent some oracle cards for um the for uh for addressing karmic energy and for um, karmics that are wanting to heal. So we're going to address the karmic energy and see what Oracle has for us, what spirit message, uh, what spirit has for us in Oracle. Parent yourself, and I said that in the cards, I literally, like the controlling and the, the demanding that karmic energy give off, you need to do that to yourself, being demanding, controlling, telling other people to take accountability, telling other people what they need to do or what they don't need to do. Parent your damn self. Parent your damn self. Like literally, like literally stalker energy like a lot a lot of the karmics have stalker energy in some way in some way in some way some form of fashion literally seek the love of children you need to either tap into your childlike energy and, and address those wounds or literally address the kids Start talking to your kids 
and get some seeds from your own children on how to switch up. Literally, parent yourself. Seek the love of, of kids. Literally, parent yourself. That karmic energy y'all need to attend to y'all damn selves. Um, it says health is wealth. A lot of that karmic energy, while y'all talking, while y'all creating more karma for yourself, get your health together. You're probably eating toxic as fuck. <laughs> your eating habits is even toxic. I'm just, I'm not even being funny, and, and I'm not trying to be. On, be talking shit, but shit needs to be be spoken. Like for real, for real. Solar plexus energy. I'm hearing the solar plexus need to be turned down. It's out of balance. Mean it's it's overactive. Karmic karmic tends to be um, kind of bold in in their energy, especially when they are demanding or when they are. You know, in the energy of always being right, not taking accountability. Um, the abusers, literally, tone, tone down your solar plexus. If you need to search, do some research and find out what that means, please do so. Trauma bond. Nine times out of ten, um, anybody that is connected to a, a karmic energy and you can't seem to get out of get out of the relationship or get out of the union whether it's family whether it's um a friend whether it's a romantic um situation it's typically a trauma bond you connect it during a um during a time of trauma for you you may have been healing from a trauma like actively healing subconsciously healing from a trauma you all may have met where both of you all were dealing with traumas and you begin to be codependent on each other. Um, yeah. It's kind of time, it's, it's, it's time to dissect why we, why some of us um, gravitate to karmic energy and it's time to dissect um, why you are the karmic and why you decide to stay karmic because all of us have karmic energies all of us have um divine energy so i'm not saying that one is better than i'm just saying if you're staying in your karmic energy it's time to address it's time to you tap into some parenting skills and address that It's time to address that. All right, let's lighten up the load and end this with either romantic love, because I know people like that, or we're going to just end it in something just high vibrational and very like encouraging. Yeah, and I'm hearing a lot of karmics just like to stay in the same in the same place. I don't know if that's being said from source or if someone is thinking that. And it's, it's true. A lot of people just want to just stay stuck because it's a comfort zone, you know, which is, it's, it's, it's understandable, but as we ascend, if we want better, if we want and even if we have, even if we have better materialistically, but we don't have better in our romance, in our spirits, or in um, um, in other aspects of our life, we still want to. We want to ascend. We want to feel better in other in other ways. So it's time to time to do the root work so we can feel better in multiple ways versus just one. Fix food and go to bed because I ain't ate y'all. I haven't eaten since that. Well, what did I eat today? Nothing. I mean, literally. Some, sometimes my body just do that, just not eat.
I'm saying if I'm going to get any channeling information or if I'm just going to go straight to cards, let's do love with the true heart. Let's do love with true heart tarot. heart chakra universal love forgiveness compassion the key to healing heart chakra make it last forever I think we doing romantic love in this Leo energy. Ow, 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 ow. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's do love. So we got heart chakra, make it last forever. Leo, 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 Leo. I once loved the Leo. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny, huh? My first boyfriend was a Leo. So I twice loved the Leo. Two of Cups, right off the gate. Two of Cups. All right, let's do high vibrational love, or let's let's just do whatever storyline comes out. What storyline do you have here? What messages of love, romantic love, do you have for the collective? So we got the two of cups and then we got the seven of swords. That ain't looking good. So let I want to get a whole storyline. Who not on who not on the up and up? I always say that on the open up. Who not being truthful in a two of cups union? Somebody's not being truthful. Somebody is holding back. Okay. So some some don't do this to me. I'ma just I'ma just put the disclaimer out here that this message is timeless. This message can be for anybody. This message is for the collective. This message is um, separate from my energy 
and these are the cards and how they lay. I cleanse the cards and these are the cards how they lay and as a, as a, a story builds up I will speak what it is I'm intuitively picking up and what the cards are, are, are showing me. So I have two of cups here. Um, I have the seven of swords here. I have the prince, uh, prince of wands. I have the seven of cups. I don't know if two people are in a relationship and one one person is being um, a bit manipulative, selfish, deceitful, sneaky, maybe greedy. I'm hearing greedy. And not cherish and and someone 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 is in a partnership with someone that is greedy, selfish, I'm hearing the words, you are not replacing me. So this energy feels that they're, they're irreplaceable. Yeah. As my alarm goes off. This energy feels that they're irreplaceable. So somebody is in a partnership with some with with a, a, a negative energy, a karmic energy that feels that they're irreplaceable. And with this Prince of Wands, I look at this as, as fast movement. I'm hearing little do they know. Little do they know. And I'm hearing, you must not know about me. You must not. <sighs> yeah. Prince of Swords wanted to pop out. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is learning to level up. Is a, a karmic energy. They're either, they could be spying. Or they could be keeping a watch out on you in a, in a sense to see if you have other options. Or they can also have other choices or options that they are trying to, trying to keep a watch out on. I'm hearing... Not to the karmic energy, but the one that is trying in the relationship. The one that has the heart of the relationship. The one that want that the one that is on the up and up is truthful. You have a decision to make. I'm hearing learn learn to level up with the two of cups, the seven of seven of cups, and then the I mean hold on. Yeah, no, I'm like seven of cups. And then the prince of swords. Learn to level up. Seek what you need to level up.
don't feel like don't feel like you're moving too fast or too quick when it comes to leaving this energy. You're supposed to been gone. Shit. All right, you supposed you're supposed to been gone. Like don't feel like it's a hasty decision or that you know you thinking at the last minute or you know what I mean. You you haven't you know you haven't looked at all your options. You looked at your options. You you may have overlooked options. You may have turned a a, a eye to options, but you were supposed to have been gone a long time ago. Lose this, I mean lose. Use this um, Leo energy to stand in your confidence. Like to, and anybody can tap, can tap into Leo energy because it's, it's, it's a zodiac. The energy is here. So tap into the Leo energy of this month and literally build confidence wherever you may need it to put you first, to take no, no shit, to set boundaries and stand in your truth. Oh, my nose is itching. Literally use that Leo energy to stand in your truth. Use your en Leo energy literally with this wands to make, to like literally fly into those right choices. To move into those, those right choices. So we're so this is a reading. How do I want to verbalize this? This is a reading of the true heart versus the karmic. The true heart, somebody that has a pure heart that is dating a karmic. Somebody that's experience some form of shadow work when I do a reading because I'll be getting downloads for certain situations that I know about or I know that I'm going to say something that's going to either rub somebody the wrong way or just yeah just like what the fuck not really you want me to be this bold and speak alright in regards to the true heart dealing with a karmic okay so okay I'm gonna split this up mm. so we have part here So I got the six of wands and I'm hearing you've been rewarded. I don't, I'm hearing you've been rewarded. yourself how you honor the karmic fill your basket up 
fill your nest up the same way you fill up that karmic. You've got a decision to make. You've got a decision to make. You've been rewarded. This is Pentacles energy. You've been rewarded. got a decision to make you have a decision to make this is the eight of cups and literally literally i'm i'm be be i'm just say it i i'm not trying to tell nobody and these are for entertainment purposes only but i know the gift that i've been given walk away that's the choice that needs to be made. That's the choice that, that needs to be made. That's, yeah. So I'm looking at this four disc. The four disc is like the four of pentacles. And sometimes the four four pentacles four this can tell us to hold on to something or it's time to to share like save save our money or it's okay to to spend it's okay to um to give right say that we're holding on too tightly to something literally what you the honors that you give to the karmic energy, save that for yourself. Save that for yourself. Save that for yourself for your own foundation, literally. Stop giving away your magic. Stop giving away your jewels. Stop giving away your heart. Literally, stop giving away your heart with this King of Cups. This is the magician. You are the magician. But you're just giving away your magic so freely. You are, this is you. You are this. And you're just giving away your magic. And it's time to walk away. Point blank, period. I'm, I'm feeling like the decision has been made in the spirit realm for you. vibrational what are we what are you leading us to how is this high, high vibrational spirit what is the high vibration what is the outcome once this true heart leaves the karmic let's not pull the karmic into this what is the outcome what after the true heart has walked on this journey of honoring themselves of filling up their own basket of filling up their own cups what is what is the outcome? Okay, and because I'm looking at this card, make it last forever, and it's obvious here with these cards that we're not going to want to make it last forever with the karmic. So that lets me know that spirit is saying, don't make it last forever. Walk away. This is the the heart chakra card. Walk away with forgiveness and compassion knowing that universal love knowing that love did roam here in this connection but walk away honoring yourself it's time to walk away honoring yourself 
So what is the outcome? What will the, be the outcome spirit? What will be the potential outcome when this true heart walks away from the karmic energy? What are they being guided to? Are we not seeing something? Are we not seeing something in someone else? Are we not seeing something? Let's keep going. Let's see. Any messages, Spirit? time to shine my time to shine what does that have to do with anything we got the king of swords okay what are we walking towards spirit mm -hmm. I heard my time to shine so this could be somebody that is uh, wanting to be single. Want, maybe you either want to be single as you get things um, balanced out for yourself, as you get everything structured and, um, uh, every, yeah, get things structured back in your life, back in your, your world. Um, maybe you want to tap into your own spirit and get things back aligned your connection back with spirit um before you tap into um another relationship and which is wise to do which is wise to do you know before you um make the decisions on that crossroad path maybe you know get yourself back aligned get your Get everything back aligned and within your your bubble, within your own personal world and your personal life. Yeah. This. Mm, oh, I hear that real clear, and this is gender specific. Somebody said I'm looking for a wife, because this is a card of marriage. Somebody is saying. Somebody's saying that when once they leave something, or if they they left something already, they are on this. Yeah, someone they left. Yeah, someone that left already. They're looking for a wife. Specific. I literally heard that. Like literally, you know I mean? <laughs> literally, you are you are gonna be in search for. You're either in search for, yeah, I can see that with the world card. You're in search search for literally marriage. This is a card of marriage. This is a card of spiritual union, spiritual connect connections, connections through the divine. You're looking for a soul, a soulmate. Y'all, it's hot. That <laughs> boobs ain't got nothing, y'all. Alright, what other what other messages or what else do you have for the collective? What other messages do you have for the true heart? the true hearts how vibrational love what messages do you have in regards to somebody looking for a partner looking for a union 
looking to settle down in this crazy, crazy world. What messages do you have for the true ones? Has this true heart found their connection? Has this true heart found the connection? Or do they need advice when it comes to someone they have found already? Or are they still looking? Have they found the connection and need advice on the connection spirit? We got the sun card and we got the king of pentacles. King of this and the sun card. right here so they're in decision making they're getting their ducks in a row this is a card of uh being structured getting back on like your a game um uh discipline the king of swords is very disciplined very structured very logical thinking um you're uh and i feel like um the the king of this he's also getting his finances together he's on he's on, on the prowl, on the look for a, a real connection, a spirit connection, a connection like literally that's out of this world. Literally, he's searching for something in a, yeah, yeah, something more passionate, something more um, balanced, structured, financial, passion is there. We got the cups energy. It's our he, uh, he, she, whoever is already a true heart. So the emotion is already there. Literally, um, the sun card is um. He's. I feel. I, I'm hearing. He's gaining momentum. He's gaining his his light again. He, she is. It, it can be gender specific, but at the same time, I I do because because I heard with the with the King of Swords, I heard I'm looking for a wife. Uh, I heard that I'm looking for a wife, and then there is no um no queens here, but the queen at the bottom of the deck, and it's like you know what I mean. That's that's that one. That's that one. So for this masculine energy that may be in search, um, let's get some advice. So, 
So have you seen it? Okay. Does this individual know who they're wanting to be with spirit? Does this individual know who they want to be with? Or is this a, a connection unknown? Is this a connection unknown? Does this individual know who they want to be with? Or is this a connection unknown? Because I'm hearing that song. Tell me, have you seen her? That implies you know who you're looking for. You just ain't seen her. You know, they ain't asleep. The five of wands. They know. The eight of discs. They know but I'm hearing mental dilemma they know but there's a mental dilemma there's something blocked there's something blocked I have the princess of cups I have the ace of cups there's something blocked here I have the four of discs They know, but they're not being, they know who they want, but they're not being expressive. Okay, so they know who they want, but they're not being expressive. And they're not being expressive because they're getting their structure, they're getting their ducks in a row. I'm going to just sum it up like that. They're getting their ducks in a row. They're getting their, they're gaining their momentum back in life they're getting their foot stable again they're getting their finances taken care of they know but they're not being expressive and i'm looking at this five of wands here because it's just the face there's no mouth like they're not being expressive They know who they want to give their cups to. Literally. They know. And that ace of cup is a dope ass cup to give. Coming from a king of swords and a king of pentacles. Let's see what we'll, the likely outcome will be. If this true heart masculine true heart seeks the woman that he desires literally empress yes let's see once he seeks this empress let's see what is the likely outcome for the two I feel like 
like a lot of things will be balanced. I feel like a light bulb moment is going to go off. Because I'm looking at this castle with the glow in the back. Like a light bulb moment is going to go off. Like, holy shit, for real? Like one of those moments. Like, this is what balance feels like. This is what, you know what I mean? This is what, like, gaining, like, literally clarity. Like, the moon is up above her head. She's balancing out. Will be the likely outcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing taking their time. No rushing. Taking their time. No rushing. Like it's the full and reverse. Like literally taking their time, no rushing. They're both gaining gaining strength and, and endurance. I'm hearing endurance. And look at endurance. Make it last forever. Growth. But don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. The full card is in reverse. It's telling me, like, don't just leap off into, oh, I found you now and we're getting married. Like, don't do that. Like, literally, don't do that. It's in the reverse. Don't do that. You could potentially scare off your your mate doing something like that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Because I'm hearing you'll, you'll scare off your mate and like energetically. Don't want to be rushed, so therefore don't rush your mate. Uh, no, for somebody. You don't want to be rushed, so don't don't force and rush somebody into marrying you. Just enjoy, like really enjoy, and being patient with the temperance card. Temperance energy is is, is being patient. It's taking taking your time, letting spirit guide you, let spirit align you. Like literally, that's will endure like tough times literally that will make it last forever if you just kind of be patient with the love all right any other messages potential outcome for the true heart all means make sure all judgments are called on this energy make sure like the gate the judgment has been called and the gate is closed literally literally don't bring no bullshit into a union that is protected by the divine don't bring no bullshit don't uh uh make sure everything is sealed make sure that gate to y'all's heaven is closed, so can't nobody get in that bitch. Like literally, this is a, this is. Look, there's an angel right there. She's an angel. This is the judgment card called judgment on this on this. This is like judgment, like heaven. They're raising their hands. Look at all the birds, like to heaven. This is you all's heaven. Don't make sure make sure that gate is closed.
have the Nine of Wands, I have the Devil card, and I have um, the Prince of Death. I have the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Devil in reverse. And the Prince of Death in the upright. Offer is this? Or where are we holding on to that we need to be released? I think I'm just going to reiterate bringing in the toxic energy. Don't hold on to the toxic energy as you make your offer, as you head that way to your to your partner, to the woman that you see. this nine of wands from the true heart's perspective the true heart perspective because I'm reading this in multiple ways Pardon me, guys. Pardon me. Pardon me. Where is my penis? Mm. Mm -hmm. Perseverance, tenacity, fortitude, determination, mental clarity, obligation duty okay but I want to read this in a romantic sense in a relationship dynamic you may need to reinvigorate your daily routine don't make assumptions about what your partner is thinking or throw in the towel before seeking clarity couples may have come through and huh, couples may have have come through patches and now feel more connected any relationship that stands the test of time is the endurance. Yes, make it last forever. Any relationship that stands the test of time will go through ups and downs. For some, for some, effort may be needed to renew connections and see if attraction is still present. Patience. Patience and active communication rather than fatalism will pave the way. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely feeling that. Um, perseverance, slowing down, really, really connecting, getting in one, will create a dope outcome. Don't take the leap once you like. Don't take a fast leap because if we move too fast, we'll end up back in like a toxic energy. And, I, and I'm just here with this. Be present. Be present. I know that's not necessarily an outcome, but be present. Okay, one card, Spirit. One last card. The likely outcome. This connection. The likely outcome. Okay, build trust, build communication, build understanding, learn each other. What is the likely outcome? Because we don't want that time to be wasted, Spirit, but what is the likely outcome? It 
feels good. It feels just like a fresh new judgment. It's a judgment card. Justice of peace, marriage, you see. It's the outcome spirit. You got the justice card. I don't want to just rush and say marriage, but hey, that's the likely outcome for the true hearts couple that found their love. Balance. Balance. I got the Justice card, the Two of Disc, and the Prince of Disc. Princess of Disc. Balance. There's a lot of balance here. I feel like there's something with people with with the couple in the couple. Yeah. The two, I feel like their 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 inner child will be fit. Will will feel balanced. Will feel at home. Will feel nurtured. Will feel cared for. That is the likely outcome. So I hope that resonates resonates with you all. I hope y'all um got what you needed. And even if you didn't feel like you needed, I hope you got something. Um. So that's it. Good night, everybody. Love naturally. Bye, guys.